Gary Silo, Gold Motor Canada. I'm going to be doing a little side-by-side -side comparison of the Smart Display by Golden Motor and the Cycle Analyst. Both are available on my website. I just want to show people what the difference is because I'm getting lots of questions. The Smart Display by Golden Motor is a very simple hookup. There's a bracket that goes on the back and there's a switch. All of this hooks right onto your handlebars quite easily. There's a cable that comes off of it and it is designed to go right into the five pin plug that comes off of the Magic Pi 4 Smart Pi 4. Uh, this is one of my own wheels so if it looks a little dirty don't worry about it. But you plug it in there and that's it. It's hooked up. Ready to go. Uh, there's a little more complicated setup if you want to use a pedelec but that is not what we're going to be doing in this video. We're just showing how to read the speed of the bike and the power you're using. The Cycle Analyst has a slightly different hookup. It has a pickup here for the Speedo. Uh, there's a magnet that you mount on the spoke. It screws right on, very simple. You put this with zip ties on your fork beside it, and as the wheel spins, it picks up the speed. There's also a cable on this side right here, a little connector. And this connector, one of many on it, connects right to the shunt. This is the shunt, and the shunt itself goes in between where you would hook up your battery cable and where you would hook up to your kit. Now, although it does seem a little more complicated to hook up the cycle analyst, it's not really, uh, because you'd be hooking your battery cable to your kit anyway, so it's just a matter of inserting it in between. So that's the basic hookups of the cycle analyst and the smart display. So today I'm going to check out the Cycle Analyst version 3 and the Golden Motor smart display. So we're going to run them side by side today, well one above the other, and we're going to make a video about the differences, the similarities, and the advantages and disadvantages of both. So this is just the starting of it all. I don't have my GoPro with me today, so I'll just be taking a few shots here and there with my iPhone. Okay, so I'm now 18 kilometers on my trip. I burned 12 amps of power. It was an uphill climb all the way into like a 20 kilometer an hour headwind with 50 kilometer gusts. It was quite the workout for the motor on the way here. I did notice that the cycle analyst had a different speed setting than the smart display had. Let's get that back to where it was. The smart display still shows I have a full battery, but the cycle analyst says I burned up 12 amps of power, which is definitely more than half of what I have. I only have 20 amps with me. So the cycle analyst does give you an accurate readout of how much power you've used. The smart display does not. I liken it to the LED lights on the throttle. Not as accurate as could be desired. Okay, lots of traffic here, but you can now see one of the bars has gone off the battery. And I've gone 36.7 kilometers. I've burnt 18.2 amps before the first bar has gone off the battery. Throughout the trip, it did keep a pretty accurate speed. There were slight differences between the Cycle Analyst and the Smart Display, but I think I just have to tweak the settings to get them the same. I'm going to have to lay a measuring tape down on the ground and actually measure the wheel. How far does it travel in one complete revolution? That's the real way to do it. And uh, it looks good. Both of them burned about the same wattage at all times, the same amps. The readings are very similar. The one thing I don't like about the smart display is the fact that it doesn't show the battery dropping off until the very end. Whereas the cycle analyst, you can just count off the amps and you know you're getting there. And also, the smart display resets itself every time you turn it off and back on. Whereas the cycle analyst, you have to actually hold the reset for a few seconds to reset the trip. Other than that, they're both very good. So I'll be doing more testing like this. This is just stage one. So yesterday I noticed that the smart display and the cycle analyst both had different readouts for the speed and for the distance traveled. So today I'm going to measure the distance, the circumference around the wheel, the way it's supposed to be done. <clears throat> Most people just get the distance off of some chart on the internet like I did and input it into the cycle analyst, but today I'm going to do the actual way you're supposed to do it, and that is to measure one full rotation of the wheel. 
So I have a measuring tape laid out on the ground here and I'm just going to roll my wheel along. I have the stem of the wheel. I don't know how well you can see it. It's so bright out I can't even see my camera. But the valve stem is even with the end of the measuring tape. So here we go, one full rotation. Okay, and here comes the valve stem again. And it measured out at exactly 92 inches. Now wheel circumferences are measured in centimeters, so I'm going to have to go convert that. I'll just Google it, and then I'm going to input it into the cycle analyst. So in Google I find that 92 inches is 2336.8 millimeters. Okay, so now we're going to go into the settings of the cycle analyst. You hold this button down until you go into setup. First one that comes up is speedometer, so you hold this one down. And now the units will go by kilometer, yes. Circumference, well, we're definitely off there. So we'll hold this down. And now we can change the numbers. Oops. Got to hold that down to go to the next number. Go up. Hold that down, go up, now the last number was 6.8, so I'm going to just go to 7, okay, well that will definitely make a difference on the readouts I'm getting. Now as for the smart display, last night I was playing around with it trying to get it to match the cycle analyst, which I just found out to be wrong. So I hold the, uh, which button's here? Both the up and down buttons at the same time. Okay, now I can adjust the size. Hold the, push the up button. Bring it back to 29 inch. And then push the middle mode button. And we're back to normal. So now I have the smart display at 29 inches and the cycle analyst at 2337 millimeters. Also to be fair with the golden motor setup on the 29 inch wheel, I'm just measuring this out and it is 29 dead on. Okay, so the cycle analyst is set correctly, 2337 millimeters for the circumference of my wheel. The smart display is set at 29, let's see how they compare. It's really bright out here, so I don't know how well this will work. They're almost unreadable now. Let's just continue and see what happens. They're both incredibly close now. It would seem, if anything, the smart display is slightly higher. Maybe by 0.1 of a kilometer. Does seem to be a good match though. I would say that's close enough. You can also see the wattage readouts are the same. Very close. So I'm running out of road here, but this all looks good. Okay, I've ridden around quite a bit. I do find that they are both quite similar in displaying the amount of watts burning, uh, the distance traveled, and the speed. Although they might be slightly different, it's too close to even worry about. Who knows which one is more accurate, but they're both almost exactly the same. So in conclusion of using this for power readout and speed, I would definitely say that the ease of installing the smart display, the, the fact that you just have to plug it in, it wins out on the ease of installation. As for the displaying the values, they're both equal. 
but the cycle analyst does have the advantage of having to manually reset the trip so if you're out on a ride with your smart display every time you turn the battery off and back on it resets itself you may not want that to happen also the battery power is remaining the cycle analyst shows you every amp you burn so you know how far you've gone and how much power you've used so it's very easy to determine when you're going to be out of power and the smart display doesn't really show any drop off on the power until you're almost at the end of your trip so the smart display is definitely easier to install and does show a good accurate measurement of speed and watts you are burning at the current time but the cycle analyst does win out with showing the actual amount of power used each trip so it's a toss-up you decide Gary Silo Gold Motor Canada living the e-bike life the good life in Mississauga Ontario Canada the weather is back it's awesome and I'm looking forward to a good 200 rides this summer for sure Gary Silo Gold Motor Canada thanks for watching enjoy the ride